Okay, next very cool tip is that uh, when we work with Maya, if you have a project set up, uh, lots of questions are there that how do we set up the project files and structure. And this is a common mistake every new student uh, tends to make. So uh, like we have done previously, we go into file, set project or create a project, make sure you have that. Then I go, for example, I have this file open. What I would do is I will go into file, save scene as... Okay, and that should take me to my new folders uh, within my new project and in the scenes folder. Now here as you would notice there's a folder called edits. This is where you keep your editing files that be keeping you going on or what I usually like to do is I create a new folder here called locations. All right. Similarly, I create a new folder here called characters. Then I create a new folder here called props. And for example, any other objects that you are going to use in your scene, um, usually these three works for me, depending, and then I can have with that. Again, I would be using edits as I go along. Now, this is a location file, so I will go into a location and I will just save this as office room, uh, for example, with a room table, uh, 2018. Click on save. Now, this file is saved in my locations folder. Similarly, I can click on a character and I can go into a character and save a character within the characters folder and these files will be here and if there's any props objects like chairs tables fans or anything i'm creating individually in a different file because sometimes when we work we create every file separately so we save them and props and then we combine them in one location or an environment as you go along so this actually saves the time booyah let's open let's open let's open let's open yeah, thank god for that so i have a character here uh, this is some Planker, I don't want actually, let me delete that. So I have a character open here and I will very quickly go into this save scene as and I will want to make this character into my scene. So you can use this current project window uh, and you can bring in your character and this is a mic character you can form, find on highend3d.com very easily. This is a very good character, very commonly used on websites. So what we did was uh, with this thing again, I have a mic as a human character within my characters folder uh, and the locations inside the locations folder. Similarly now, as soon as I start working with projects, I would be creating more folders. Uh, for example, if there's more furniture, I will create a folder of furniture, put everything inside there. For example, if I'm working on a characters, or every characters goes in there. If I'm working on, for example, buildings, I will create a folder with buildings and I will put all the various different buildings. So then later on, I can compose them in my location or environment or another thing. So it's having a structured folder basically helps you a lot in organizing your files. Similarly, we start working when we start working on animation projects, we start creating scenes and shots. We would put them in separate folders as well. So organizing your project with respect to folders would immensely help you uh, in managing your data within Maya. Thank you very much. This is one minute for Maya. Uh, see you around. Fiyamamullah.